And because of COVID trends, the governor of North Carolina hopes mask mandates will be lifted by local governments and schools. News 13 Samir Nefsi has more on the data behind the move. As of Thursday, the state health department reports a nearly 11% daily positivity rate. New COVID-19 data shows that the state is moving in the right direction. Also, vaccines and COVID-19 treatments are providing extra protection. All of this leading the governor to announce that it's time for mask mandates to go. I encourage schools and local governments to end their mask mandates. Governor Roy Cooper for the first time saying masking up might not be the best solution for North Carolinians. The school toolkit provides guidance for schools and it has in the past strongly urged mask mandates for the local schools and that's been the right thing. That's been a positive thing. But we're at the point in the pandemic where the health officials say that lifting those mask mandates maybe the right thing for them to do and that they should consider that. The governor attributes vaccine availability and treatments for COVID as the main driving force behind the decision. It's happening as the state house and Senate pass the Free the Smiles Act. It's a bill that would allow students to opt out of wearing a mask in public schools. Governor Roy Cooper says the House and Senate seem to be frantic about the bill. From what I know about it, I have concerns that it's unwise and irresponsible. I mean, are we going to let people pick and choose which public health rules are going to follow? Meanwhile, the Buncombe County Association of Educators are not backing the governor. I was definitely shocked to hear it. I wasn't expecting it quite so soon. Shanna Peel believes lifting masking mandates will only worsen a shortage of substitute teachers. It actually could really um, further complicate the issue. Um, however, I think the larger concern is the ability for us to have enough substitutes to cover staff um, who may be out due to illnesses if we go ahead and remove the mask mandate. A Buncombe County school spokesperson saying they appreciate the guidance from both local and state health officials, writing in a statement, quote, we anticipate adopting the new toolkit recommendation on or before March 7th. As it stands, school boards hold the power to keep or do away with masking policies. Cooper believes boards will follow his advice. Now, the governor and secretary of health and human services both say that it is important for North Carolinians to gauge each situation they are in to decide if they want to mask up or not. In studio, Samir Nafsi, News 13. The CDC is also